All right, today's video is a demonstration test and just kind of a good look at using an automotive fire extinguisher. This one, this is one that you're gonna see on Amazon. It's pretty highly rated. It's from First Alert and it fits right here in this mount. It's got two screws in the back that you can screw it into something inside your vehicle uh, or on the outside. And then all you gotta do is undo the clip and pull it out. It's small, so it's easy enough to keep under your seat or behind the seat in the trunk of your car, wherever, and it could come in handy. There are some important things to know about these though before you buy one and before you decide which type to get. This specific one right here, you can see the ratings for B and C fires. There's three different types of common fires, A, B, and C. A is gonna be for anything cardboard, wood, uh, clothing, anything that is organic matter, trees, logs, campfire, that's all organic and it's gonna be an A fire. Next one is B, liquids. So that's gonna be gas, oil, any type of uh, lighter fluid, anything like that that could catch on fire. And then the last one is C, which is anything electrical. And you might think that one fire extinguisher can treat all of them, and it, and it, can, and it can, but sometimes fire extinguishers are better at treating certain fires than other types. So this one right here is specifically designed for B and C, which is gonna be for any fuel that's on fire on the engine or electrical, which is the two common sources of a car fire. The other thing to know about this extinguisher is it's not for fighting a fire once it's gotten big into flames. It tells you in the instructions, it's really only if you start to see smoke or if it's really small flames. Today you're gonna to see me test it on an A class fire. So what my plan is is to light up some cardboard we're going to see how a B and C extinguisher works on an A fire. Another difference in the types of fire extinguishers that you get are the type of extinguishing agent that's in it. A lot of times in a school or something like that, you're going to see a CO2 extinguisher, which is what you're going to squeeze the handle and it's going to shoot out a bunch of CO2 and kind of a smoky looking gas that comes out. This type of extinguisher shoots a dry chemical. So it's kind of like a baking soda material. It's just a really fine powder that gets sprayed and attached to everything. So it really treats the fire a little bit differently. Another thing to know with this one is that it's gonna leave a mess after you're done with it. It's gonna leave a ton of white powder everywhere. You're really gonna to have to clean down whatever you use it on. So if you have a small fire in your garage floor and you spray this, there's gonna be powder everywhere in the air, all over your garage floor and everything. You're gonna to have to clean it up. Same thing in your car. If you happen to save your car by using one of these, it's gonna be a lot of powder. One thing with the powder type is that a lot of times it could be corrosive. So any electrical systems or anything that's all around the wires and you spray it down with water, it could damage the electrical pieces just a little bit. But like I said, for today's video, we're gonna use this cardboard material right here to make an A-class fire. Basically, I'm gonna light it and put it out from right here so you can kind of see how it works. I'm also gonna cover it up a little bit to try to keep some of that powder contained in the barrel. The other important thing to know about the extinguisher is how to use it. This one, you, I'm just gonna yank this pin out and then you hold it here, you point it at the fire and you squeeze it. So this is actually gonna be my first time lighting it off and uh, we'll see how it does. All right, so at this point our car is on fire. You can see it's still going a little bit. There's a lot of powder coming out, even just from those couple bursts. Start it back up. See, it keeps starting back up. And there's the mix of smoke and powder coming out. Take this off and we'll look at it from the top. I 
I'll say most of that is smoke. You can see the flames starting again down there. Another thing, this is supposed to have a six foot range on it. And there's still plenty, there's a lot of powder left in here. So plenty of ammo. See it starting up again. Now that it got some airflow. And that's all the powder. Obviously, if you're gonna use this for real, you know, you'd probably just douse it all and make sure to hit it really well the first time. I'm gonna say this is probably not the best applied for a, for a fire that we were talking about. The chemical reaction is still going on, all this paper and everything is still burning. If this was a liquid or electrical, it would stop the chemical reaction a lot faster. You're gonna see it keep coming back up. Put a little bit right here. There's the powder I was talking about. And there's the fire we're fighting. Hopefully that's a good enough demonstration. I gotta uh, put the rest of it out. But there you go. There's the automobile fire extinguisher for you. I do think it would do better if this was a gas or oil or something that was burning instead of cardboard. So cardboard is just going to keep going back until you douse it with water. But then again, that's what these extinguishers are for. It's just to get the fire under control until the firefighters can get there and uh, do their job and make sure it's actually completely put out. Thanks for watching and I'll put a link for this in the description.